Noob noob, I heard you love the Justice League. What would you I like to do to them? would love to kill them with kisses. Oh my god. Uh, Clearly, we've covered this before, but we're going to cover it again because the Justice League must die. Double dip. And the Suicide Squad seems to be in some trouble because I think we talked about this where, you know, Captain Boomerang uses his amazing guns to kill people, <laughs> not boomerangs. Yes. And Killer Shark is all about using guns. his guns he to shoots kill people. tadpoles at people yes the looter shooter that is because people seem to be they seem to be like oh we kind of like this what was that the batman game the Gotham, Gotham Knights? Knights? yeah where people got real pissed because they were like none of this is what we asked for we wanted a, a recreation of what was that that the, the the batman games Batman um, Gotham Asylum yeah right? uh, Batman Arkham Asylum Arkham City Arkham Knight all those games. Yep. People wanted those and they got a looter shooter. Well, apparently Rocksteady wasn't thinking and they were like, let's just give people get that looter shooter we all wanted. Let's just have Harlequin not use baseball bats. She can just use guns. Well, she kind of uses guns sometimes. So that, that makes more sense. And Killer Shark, let's not have him bite people. Let's have He did him not use guns. Use guns. Let's have, you know... I guess the biggest one is the boomerangs. You don't have Captain Boomerang use boomerangs. Can't he have like special boomerangs? Maybe you could the have... The boomerang should have just shot explosive guns. Explosive <laughs> explosive boomerangs. His boomerangs could just shoot guns. He should have thrown the boomerang and then a gun came out and shot everybody. <laughs> that would have been better than what they're doing because yeah. that doesn't make any sense. So apparently a bunch of stuff leaked. We covered it in a news story somewhere up here. Yep, we're probably. not linking it. No, we will. It'll be there. I will link it. So Rocksteady now delays Suicide Squad kill the Justice League again to give players the best quality experience. They have seen what happens to things like the Avengers and other games like that and said, this is not a good idea to release a half-baked game. So they're going to delay it. Doesn't seem like a good idea. This was at the Sony State of Play, correct? Uh, not Maybe. recently. What do you mean? You told me that you watched the Sony State of Play, and that's what they told us was that Final this would be Fantasy, delayed. bro. It was all about Final You're Fantasy. You're about getting your fantasy on. What about Suicide Squad? No, the entire Sony State of Play was Final Fantasy 16. Not and that's this. it. Nothing else. Yup. How did you find out about this? IGN, not Twitter. Uh, Twitter through IGN. Mm. While I was looking up Twitter porn. That is the You're best. You're a great reporter. The best use of Twitter is the porn, honestly. Two minute clips, I only need 10 seconds. Mm hmm. Yeah. So apparently, in the statement accompanying this image via the official Twitter account, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League will now be launched on 2 2 2024. It's like a year away from now. We've made the tough but necessary decision to take the time needed to work on and getting the game to the best quality experience for our players. Watch them not change anything. You think they're just trying to buy time? Dude, they're losing millions of dollars every second they wait. Yeah. They're willing to just eat that and hope that the looter shooter becomes popular again? I. You think they're going to redo the entire game and have new game mechanics? I mean, it's a whole year, so maybe. They could at least tweak it a little bit. That's what I, I, I think they should do. So just so for those of you who are, aren't in the know, a looter shooter is a game that you play where you need to either grind for loot, which means doing repetitive quests over and over again, or you could take the shortcut of paying actual in-dollar money, kind of like an NFT, where you can buy guns, skins, and other such you associated. Pay to play. You pay to play the game. So, in addition to the money that you put out to play the game, you have to put out additional money in order to get good at the game, right? Makes sense. So, they've made the tough decision to, to push it on, and a lot of people have been watching this, and they've been looking at it where they've been saying, like, uh, this looks like a looter shooter. 
when you try to play it in single player, it still has four other players. And you have to be online to play it yeah, initially. Th or three other players that are bots. So it's clearly built around the multiplayer. So you have to pay for the, like maybe a battle pass and other elements of the game. Some they're saying that some of the RPG stats on gear sound like a grind fest. Yeah, so we've pretty much covered this. So it sounds like people are not excited about that. And then if they release, then it avoids competing with Diablo 4, Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, and Final Fantasy 16. Yeah, I mean, I was initially excited to play this game, and then I saw all the gameplay, and uh, yeah, not so much excited anymore. You watch Captain Boomerang shoot his infamous guns? Yeah, I just, the Batman Arkham games were really good. So I would think that this at the very minimum would be decent. And There's no stealth element to it. The um, the CGI trailers, I'll give you that, were pretty enticing. But yeah, once you see like gameplay, those. you're yeah. just like, all you're doing is running around and killing things. For you're points. like flying through the air, kind of like the Avengers game. You like kinda fly dumb, through yeah. the air and you shoot things. I was and super excited for the Avengers game. And then I played the demo and immediately canceled my reservation. This kind of seems very similar. And clearly the, the Avengers game, which has been canceled is not making any money they gave away every single thing you could possibly get from it for free they were going to continue to add players to it like characters where you could be like spider-man a black panther and winter soldier and all of that's for free and they're shutting it down yeah so i think the writing's on the wall people need to stop monetizing things like this they need to stop doing the nfts and stop doing pay to play people aren't interested in that if you do things like elden ring People will continue to play it. You just gotta you gotta be firm in what you did. Just Zelda doesn't seem to have any problems. Sony make more spiral games. That's all you need. Yeah, more spiral would be welcome. Spiral five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all in one. Do them. Yeah, we want it. And hopefully Diablo is not a pay to play. I will let you know when it comes out. It's a computer game. You're not playing that. Yeah, it's gonna be on PS. Hopefully four. Is it? I think so. I doubt it. Hopefully, because I don't have a PS5. Because you're too poor. I am too poor. Yeah. And we're not monetized, so you can't send us money. Maybe one day you can help me yes. get a PS5 so I can review things for exactly. you. Exactly. But either way, we love all y'all. We have a live stream, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday nights. Come join us. Come join the party. We have giveaways. Great stuff there. We are on Rumble. We are also doing our audio podcast. You can listen at work hang out party with us it's on stitcher spotify itunes all those great places and more any place you can find a podcast but as for us we're on to the next one